We'll guide you through how to play Minecraft Java with a controller. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super useful to be able to do, as it's quite a lot more fun playing with a controller instead of a keyboard and mouse. So just so you guys can follow step by step, at the moment my controller is unplugged. Now let's go and quit the game. To go and do this, we are going to be using a mod. So what we need to do is go and install this. First of all, go and open up a web browser like so. So what you want to do is type in Midnight Controls Minecraft, just like so, and we can then come to the Modrant site here. Then what you want to do is go and click on versions at the top, and we can go and see them. What you want to do is go and note down the game version. In this case, it's 1.21.x, and it's for Fabric. That's super key. We need to go and know this as we need to get a mod loader. So click on the download to the right, and it's now downloaded. And then what you want to do is come to the top, click on mods, and you then want to go and find the Fabric API. It's actually appeared right here, or you can search for it. Then click on versions, and we're gonna go and get it for 1.21.1. I'll click on the download to the right, and it's now downloaded. Then what we need to do is go and get Fabric itself. Go and search for Fabric Minecraft like so, and come to the official site. Then click download, and click on download for Windows. It's now downloaded. Now, before we start the install process, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you want to go and play Minecraft with friends, this is a great way to go and do it. There'll be a link down below in the description and in the comments. They've got so many awesome features, for example, one click install mod packs, 24 seven servers and support, ultra low latency, automated backups, instant access upon purchase, and so much more. So if you're interested, check them out. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. Now what we can do is come out of our web browser, you need to come to your file explorer and come to your downloads folder. Here we are. So what you want to do is go and run the fabric installer, double click on it. Make sure you go and run it for the version that you went and got the other mods for. In this case, 1.21.1, I'll click install and it's now finished. So then what you can do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher. You can come to the top and click on installations. Now scroll down and you need to go and find the fabric loader for the version you got it for. For me, that was 1.21.1. Click on the file or folder icon to the right. Then go and scroll down like so until you find mods and go into it. And then what you need to do is go and add in the Fabric API and the Midnight Controls mod like so. And that's it. Then you can come to the right and click on play. Now at this point, go and plug in the controller. At this point, go and plug in the controller, hover over the Fabric loader and go over to the right and click on play. So Minecraft is now loaded and I'm now using the D-pad on my controller. And as you can see, I'm moving and I'll just go and get into a world and go and show you it. I'm playing with a controller and you can go and see the controls in the bottom right as well. It's that simple. It's so much fun playing with a controller. So if you guys found this useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And if you want a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out Apex. As I said before, there's a link in the comments and in the description. I look forward to catch you in the next one when we can solve your next problem.